if y'all say so. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Momo. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode 57, William and Breezy, okay? Before we get into the review, y'all already know what to do. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. Let me know you stop by and leave a comment down below. Um, I'm drinking on a little Moscato tonight. You see my lipstick on there? I couldn't commit a crime out this bitch if I wanted to, child. My lipstick gonna get it away. Um, once again, I'm in an old house, so y'all hear that? That's the water. It don't matter though. We in the house. This episode of Catfish left me with questions, y'all. Was y'all left with questions? I was left with questions. Good job, baby. He already done taking a shower. That's my boo. But I was left with a lot of questions. But let's go ahead and get up into this review, y'all. Hopefully, y'all are ready for it because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get up into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So we have William the Baddest. William is a former catfish. Now, I, was, I did not review. I didn't start reviewing catfish. I want to say... He was literally the episode right before I started doing Catfish reviews, so I didn't review him. And then when I did try to go back and review him, I just couldn't get the, the, the episode wasn't showing up on the MTV app. I guess they started playing after a while for whatever, but I couldn't get it to uh, show up. Anywho, William the Baddest was a former Catfish on an episode of Dallas and Safari, I believe it was. And this is what he had did. He catfished this dude named Dallas. Basically, he, I wanted to say, <laughs> tried to brainwash this dude into being gay, into getting with him. He says he felt like Dallas was gay because Dallas had an OnlyFans and he was posting pictures and it was gay, uh, you know, geared towards the gay community. And so, therefore, he had to be gay, which I don't believe because we have plenty of actors out here who play roles that are gay who are not gay. So, he was gay for pay. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't, you know, I don't fault him. Do what you got to do for the duckets. You know what I'm saying? It's 2022 and a whole ass panorama out here. You got to do what you got to do and you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, he basically tried to brainwash this dude into having a threesome or a foursome with him and his other friends. And the shit just didn't work out the way he wanted to, child. So he on here now because he believed he's being catfished. So now he need help. I said, wow, how the tables have turned. Okay, though. Anyway, so, so his name is William the Baddest. And he's bad. I get William now. He don't give a damn what you think about him. He going to do him, boo-boo, on period, poo. It is what it is. You and Vicky, young Vicky is not one of them. You know what I'm saying? Now, he says that nine months ago, he met Breezy online. And he likes Breezy because he is into astrology. He's into the stars and the moons and the, um, you know, the, the you know, all of that. I don't want to disrespect astrology because I don't know astrology myself. I just know I'm a cancer. Anybody that know astrology, feel free to read. You know, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what my future going to hold. Not to say I'm going to believe. Because I ain't say I don't believe in astrology. I believe when people say that certain traits and certain characteristics may be the same, but you may not necessarily, like it's a lot of people I know that are cancers that, bitch, we is, she is not one of them. Like, we ain't the same, like, at all. Like, at all. That's just me, though. And then some people who are other signs, you expect them to be this way. They're like, oh, that's a such and such, or he is such and such. You know what it is? I, again, I ain't disrespect nobody. Don't come for me because I ain't sent for you. If you want to go ahead and tell what my horoscope is for the free 99, go ahead and drop down in the comments, girl. Um, So, he said he's been talking to Breezy, like I said, because Breezy is all into astrology and he does readings. And that's something that, you know, he wanted to get more into. He got this new lightning bolt tattooed on his face, child. He don't want to got him a BBL as well because he said after he appeared on Catfish that the comments really got to him. People were saying that you can never get with a guy like that. So he started feeling insecure about himself. He went out and got him a BBL, girl. Got him an old little pump little thing that sit up there, sit up there nice and right. You know what I'm saying? Another thing he liked about Breezy, he felt Breezy was legit because Breezy has a blue certified check mark on IG. So he just knew him and Breezy, like, cause he got a blue check mark too. He like, he popping, I popping. So let's be popping together, right? 
He says he had found Breezy because he was searching IG to get a, um, a reading and he had ran, a call, ran across Breezy's page. They had interacted here and there. Breezy started following him. From there, he started, you know, he slid into his DMs. They started flirting with each other. Eventually, it led to them texting each other. Although they've never FaceTimed, they never talked on the phone. The one time he did call Breezy's phone, Breezy answered the phone and acted all surprised like he didn't know what the hell that was going on, right? Another thing that William says is suspicious about Breezy is Breezy goes live on RG all the time, um, on IG all the time. Y'all, my bad. I've been drinking. He goes live on RG all the time, but he doesn't never acknowledge William when William is, is in his chat. He just basically ignores him, doesn't say anything to him. Another thing is they've been sending messages back and forth, like I said, to each other on IG. William has noticed that the messages, he'll send a message and then he'll unsend it. So aside from this dude unsending messages, they haven't talked on the phone, haven't FaceTime, and he doesn't acknowledge him in his doggone live chats. William, you was a former catfish. You ought to know the signs that the catfishes do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, William says he has sent Breezy a message and was like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? You don't acknowledge me. You act like a bitch don't exist. Like, what the hell is really going on? Breezy sends him this long text message about he wants to be with him, but the last guy that he was with just used him. And so that's made him leery and he doesn't trust much, pe much people, but he knows that he cares for him and he really wants to be with him. And he sends him some heart eyes or whatever, right? And so William says he replies back and sends the heart eyes emoji. William screenshotted that text message. Text me I'm a little tipsy. Text message conversation, bitch. So he can have it in his phone should something come off of what I think really he could say that in his phone so if a nigga gotta be like, uh, y'all ain't sent you that nigga. You's a goddamn lie. Look at her, look at her. I think that's really why he got that in his phone. But anyways, he said that he didn't want to, you know, seem like he was crazy or nothing. Like he was coming after him and it was nothing. But Breezy sent him this message back. And so from that message, he's thinking that they gonna be in love and they gonna be together. Just from that message, other than them flirting on IG, there was no other, I want to be with you, I love you, I want you, none of that. No long hours of them talking on the phone, none of that. Just that. But he feels like from that, they're going to be in love and that's what's going to happen, right? Neva Cammy also asked him, does he know if anybody else is managing Breezy's account? Being that he is blue check certified, you never know. He might have an accountant. He may have an assistant. I mean, not an accountant. He may have an assistant that's managing his profile for him. As far as William knows, no, don't nobody else have access to his page. Another thing Cammy says is what if he's in a relationship and he really can't acknowledge that he's with you because he's in a relationship and that's going to fuck up his happy home. That's something it could be as well. Now, William brings out his phone and he shows pictures of him to Neve and Cammy. Off the rip, Neve notices his ass from TikTok. That's why it's good to have one of these millennials by your side because they know all the people that's popping. Like, if I'd have seen her, I wouldn't know who the hell he was. Like, little dude to me. Cammy notices him from TikTok. She ends up finding his TikTok page and sees that this dude has a whole chronicles of, like, my time in L.A. He is actually in L.A. where William is. And he's apartment shopping, like apartment hunting. Now, mind you, he has stood William up before, said he was going to meet him somewhere, end up, now he, he didn't even show up, right? But now he's got TikToks as recent as three days ago, saying that he's in LA and he's apartment hunting. And of course that hurts doggone weird, because he's like, wait a minute, he supposed to be with me. He ain't telling me that he was up here in LA. This hurting me and my home girl. <laughs> I'm a drinky y'all, by the way. All right, so Neve starts his investigation. He starts by sending a message to Breezy. His real, I mean, his name on IG is D Breezy. So he sends a message to Breezy. Neve um, lies to him and says that he wants to get a reading. I say, Neve, don't play with them spirits like that. They lying to come back and have your ass wake up and you got a whole ass motherfucking tail. Or you, 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 you pissing Cheerios or something. I'm just saying, I don't play with them spurts like that. I don't, I don't, I'm covered in the blood. I'm covered in his blood. That's all I'm saying. 
So he lies to him and tells him that he wants tarot card reading or whatnot from him. And, um, you know, whoop de whoop yada, 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 holler back, uh, holler back at me, right? They search the phone number. The number comes back registered to a Derek. You know, they bleep out the last name. And they're thinking that that could be D Breezy's, you know, first name is Derek. So they end up searching his friends and they send a few messages to a couple of friends that they see on his friends list. They also see that um, it's this one chick named Zoe that he calls like his close friend or whatnot. That was the last picture that he posted. They send a message to her ass as well. Next thing you know, they end up getting a call from Nisha. Nisha is one of the girls that they end up messaging that they seen on the picture with D Breezy. Now she says that that's his best friend, that she does know D Breezy. He's talking to somebody, but a damn show ain't William. She don't know who the hell William is. Don't know nothing about it. Uh -uh, they ain't got nothing to do with my homeboy, right? They also ask her, does she know if anybody helps to manage his IG account? She says that somebody does help to manage it, but she don't know who it is. So she was helpful in a sense, but she wasn't really helpful. But she was helpful, you know what I'm saying? At least they was able to know that somebody else is in on his account and not just him. Now, at this time, Breezy calls back. Bitch, this one to get good. Breezy calls back. He asked, you know, um, about, you know, he asked Neve, uh, you know, like, what's up? What's going on? Neve asked Breezy about William. Do you know him? You know, I've seen that y'all talked in the inbox and said in the other. And William was like, I don't know who the hell. No, Breezy. Breezy was like, I don't know who the hell no William is. So, like, what are you talking about? Where is this coming from? And he was like, so... Y'all haven't messaged each other because he has messages from you and there's messages that you've sent. Like, can you look through your inbox and see if you have any messages from him? Now, at this point, Breezy starts to get agitated, which I don't blame him because you hit me up that you wanted to get a reading, but then you backed up and you asked him about some dude named William. Breezy genuinely claims he don't know who he is. He like, look, bro, I'm in my messages right now. I ain't got no messages from no no William, so I don't know who the hell it is you're talking about. So Neve is like, all right, well, do you think that maybe somebody else could be in your account, managing your account? Breezy is like, nah, ain't nobody else in my account. Listen here, man, you want you a guy. You won't know your future or what, man. You won't know the lotto numbers or what, nigga. You sitting up here playing with my goddamn skills. Like, what the hell is going on? You won't you read you, 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 you lie to me, Neve. Neve said, look here now, first. I want to know what was up with William. But then after that, I did want to be a reading. This nigga Breezy said, oh, so you catfish me, Neve? Even though I was like, nigga. He did kind of catfish you in a way. Well, he didn't catfish, he lied for you. But that's what catfish do, they lie. So he did kind of catfish him in a way, but he didn't. He needs to get to the bottom of the investigation. But it, it, it was kind of like a lie. But I'm just saying, though. Either way it go, Breezy is like, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can fit you in my schedule a little bit later on. I'm going to call you back. He ends up calling Neve, uh, Neve back later and was like, look here. No, they didn't even call him back. He sends him a message. And it's like, look here. I ain't got no time today. I can't do it. As a matter of fact, I don't want nothing to do with this shit because you're sketchy. I just don't trust a goddamn thing about you. So, got to get back to William with the T. He all distraught. <laughs> His emotions all over the place. He just extra, y'all. He just so... William's so goddamn extra, y'all. I'm sorry. And I'm tipsy to y'all. I'm tipsy. It just hit me now. Y'all, so at first, it seemed like everything was over because they already know who Breezy is. He is who he is. He's already blue check certified. They thinking that he's lying about not knowing who William is. So they was like, ain't no point of us really continuing on with the investigation. Like, what is we doing from here? Now, Kami gives him that big sister advice that he needs. Like, look here, I know that you are happy about the little text message or whatnot that he sent, but actions speak louder than words. His actions are saying, he don't really fuck with you like that. I know you think that it's something, but mama, it, it ain't even really nothing. I think you 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 holding on to something and ain't even nothing really going down like that. I was that again, that's why Kami is a good element to the show because she brings in that certain level of counseling. You know, I feel like everybody, that female's touch, that black woman's touch, that's what Cammy do. That's my niece. I fucks with me some Cammy. Child, then out of nowhere, William ends up getting a DM from Breezy that says, hey, I'm in LA. Let's finally meet up. William replies back, okay, fine. Let's meet up tomorrow. All right, cool. Now, Neve and Kimmy get in their car. They leave and they're like, you know what? I don't know. Something don't seem right about this. I thought the same thing too. 
It was just something in it. I was like, y'all, something don't that. It, I, mm, mm. Mm. Something don't seem right about this. And I know I wasn't the only one that was thinking that too. Trying to next day, they pull up to the crib because, like I said, he sent the address when he said he wanted to meet up. They pull up to the crib. Neve knocks on the door. And Zoe comes to the door. Zoe is a chick that they had seen in the pictures with Breezy. Zoe says that Breezy don't know about anything that's going on. Basically, it was a prank between her and her brother because they like to prank each other. Breezy don't know nothing. She would send him messages. Breezy would, I mean, not Breezy, um, William was basically interacting back. And so that was giving her a reason to basically keep the prank going. Breezy didn't know nothing about nothing about nothing that was going on. Now, she says that she had picked William off of his friends list. She seen that they had interacted before. And so that's what made her choose William, right? And so Neva Kim was like, okay, so he does know who William is. Because yesterday on the phone, he was claiming he didn't know who the hell William was. Now, William is all distraught. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Are you serious? Like, my feelings were in this. Now, at first, I ain't going to lie. I was like... Not that they need the cloud, because I'm not saying that at all. No, none of that, because they already blue check certified. What I'm saying is, though, what if they both got together and conspired and was like, look, let's do this. Let's go on catfish. They already know me, and they're going to pick me because I done been on a before. That way we can get some cloud off of it. I can give me a man. I, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. But I was like, some just don't seem right. Well, at this time, Breezy comes up out the back. The real Breezy. He's like, what is Catfish doing here? We could have handled this off camera. What you doing? This ain't right. I don't know what's going on. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. Some just didn't seem right about the whole scenario. I know I wasn't the only one that was tripping, that was thinking that. Cammy ends up pulling William to the side and is like, look here, what's T, sis? What's Papa? Because this whole scenario seemed made up. It don't seem real. Like, let me know what's going on. What in the sugar honey I see is going on? William says that he genuinely felt like there was a connection between him and Breezy because of the messages that Breezy sent him. He thought it was a for real thing, that they was together. Maybe he misinterpreted it. He took something and he ran with it and he made it something that it wasn't. Child, so they end up getting them back together. Everybody back together. Zoe, Breezy, and William. William apologizes to, um, what's the little nigga name? Breezy for maybe thinking too much as to what it is and what it could be. They apologize to him for taking it too far. Come to two month checkup. William says he tried to get at Breezy again. Breezy was like, nigga, I told you it ain't going down like that. So he claims. He still try to search for love or whatnot. They check in with Breezy and his sister Zoe. They say everything is good in they hood and they ain't talked to William. Now, if y'all thinking like I'm thinking it was something off about that, y'all drop it down in the comments and let me know. But I just feel like there was something more to the story. I just feel like it was something they was leaving out. I feel like it was something that they had skipped over. As executive couch producer, MTV, I'm going to need to know what the hell is going on because y'all can't bullshit a bullshit them. Something went on with it. I don't know, but if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Why is my sweater bunching up on me? This one I like to wear sweaters. I feel like goddamn baby Huey in this bitch. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share on your IC mode. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.